Welcome back to Get Well Acadiana with Dr. Kevin. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate you spending your Saturday morning with us here on the show. I'm Dr. Kevin. I'm the Senior Vice President of the Bryant Wellness Institutes. We're Louisiana's most advanced functional medicine institutes, and that means that we use the latest technologies available from all over the world to treat today's most complex health problems without drugs or completely without surgery whatsoever. I'm here with my co-host, Brandon Como. Brandon, how are you today, my friend? I'm doing good, Doc. What's going on? I tell you, last week was the first time I really heard you get fired up on the radio. I think it was, I think it was Monday. I think you were talking about Hillary, actually. Yeah, she's <laughs> really a big pain. We were, <laughs> we were in the truck and I said, Kate, listen to Brandon go. Uh, for, for those of y'all listening and aren't aware, Brandon has a show on weekdays called Offsides at Four. So yeah, we were, we were cheering you on in the truck on that <laughs> one. Though. But you know, I really appreciate our audience here and, 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 and thank each one of you out there for listening. And I want this show to be more than just something interesting to listen to on your Saturday morning. My goal each and every week is to show you the pathway and to get you to take action, to take steps to solve your health problems once and for all. And the truth is there's so many remarkable advancements out there to solve your health problems Without drugs or surgery, it's just no one has told you about them. There's billions of dollars, literally billions of dollars spent each year to teach you about taking drugs to cover up your symptoms. And you know, it starts from the time you're a little baby. It's called direct-to-consumer drug advertising. And, and you know, Brandon, this is something I hadn't told you, but it's illegal in almost all countries. In fact, it's only legal in the United States and New Zealand. This direct-to-consumer advertising, and a recent example of this this direct-to-consumer drug advertising is there was a Pfizer commercial not too long ago for its anti-cholesterol drug Lipitor, and the television spot, you guys probably remember it, featured this Dr. Jarvik, creator of the artificial heart, and they actually said, they actually called him a distinguished doctor, and uh, Jarvik tells the viewers that as a doctor, he's worried about his own cholesterol. Well, according to the World Health Organization, Pfizer spent $260 million on that campaign. You think there's a lot of money at stake here? They spent $260 million on one ad. And the World Health Organization recently said that Pfizer didn't bother telling consumers that Jarvik is not even a licensed medical doctor. And he doesn't have the authority to prescribe medicine. And there's even some controversy surrounding his claims that he invented the artificial heart, which there's really obviously no such thing. I mean, we would know it if there, if there was. So in addition to these, these deceptive nature of, of these ads, direct to consumer advertising of pharmaceuticals drives up the cost of prescription drugs. These ads bypass healthcare providers and sells their products directly to eager consumers leaving pharmaceutical companies to influence patients to ask their doctors for expensive name drug, name brand drugs and not the uh, and not other other options so the Kaiser Foundation found that 44% of adults reported that that patients received prescriptions after asking their doctor about medications they saw in drug ads so these basically these things work and what happens is it causes a rise in cost of our health care. So there's also concern that this trend will continue to get worse and that, of course, it will add to the rising cost of our health care. And it ends up costing patients more money. Now, if you guys will watch these commercials closely, people are visual, not auditory learners. So in every commercial does this. They always have the actors that are dressed up like doctors to tell you the benefits of the drug. And then they play an interesting video, knowing you're visual, not auditory. They play an interesting video while the voice in the background tells you the huge list of negative side effects, which they legally have to do. But your brain glosses over that. Your brain focuses on the video of the dog running through the field, playing with the children or some lady doing something interesting. 
pay close attention next time you see these ads and, and you'll see how deceptive they are. You, they leave you with the idea of the benefit of the drugs, but your brain has a really hard time remembering the voice in the background. If they really cared about getting sick people well, obviously they wouldn't do that. So watch these commercials real closely next time. And keep in mind, this is only legal in the United States and New Zealand. And it goes to show you how much political power these pharmaceutical companies have in America. And unfortunately, it's driving up our cost. Um, it's further cementing in the public's mind about taking drugs for everything under the sun. And it starts from the time we're little bitty babies. I even see these things when my son's watching TV. I see, I mean, it already starts. Now, all of this adds to the fact that America now takes 50% of all the pharmaceutical drugs on the planet, and we're only 3% of the world's population. And if I were to ask you, name a disease or a condition that we've actually cured in the last 50 years, go. There's really no, th- not, really, you can't name one thing that's been fixed or cured in the last 50 years, you'd have a really hard time naming something. And, you know, honestly, a lot of treatments that we do and and the way we look at health and disease in America sometimes is is decades behind where the actual research is going. Today, we're going to talk about thyroid disease. Medical treatment for thyroid hasn't changed since 1962. So in 1962, they had black and white televisions and most cars didn't have air conditioners so we are literally decades behind where the new research is going and american health care is is something that we really need to take a hard look at this to find out if we can make a change here if we're ever going to save our health care system in america my goal with this show is to share some of the amazing new advancements with you each and every week, and to show you that you don't have to rely on more and more medication to treat more and more symptoms while your health continues to get worse and worse. So as Americans, it almost seems weird to us if somebody doesn't have health problems. You know, I mean, if you're talking to somebody and they go, man, I have no health problems at all, you you, you know, people would go, well, that's weird. It's not supposed to be weird. Your body is supposed to work normally. And function the way it's supposed to and all of your organs are supposed to work and function. You know, it's not normal to have your organs just quit working so they have to be taken out of your body. And, you know, I hear this all the time. Patients will tell me, oh, no, doc, I just get the normal headaches or I just have the normal diabetes. It's under control. You know, I'm pretty healthy or my my thyroid quit working and my doctor said that was normal. It just happens sometimes. Guys, we have to do better and we can do better. The only solution to our health care mess that we have in the United States is prevention and wellness. The exact type of protocols and treatments that we do at Bryant Wellness, using the very latest research, what they're figuring out now in research, not decades behind, using cutting-edge technologies to get the body working again at a cellular level. And, you know, it's up to each and every one of you to care enough about your health, to take some action, to find out what the underlying issues really are that's causing your health problems. I want you to keep asking yourself, why is that happening? Until you get to the bottom of the the problem, until you get to the underlying reason that these things are happening. So today, we're going to discuss hormone problems. Your hormones are intricately involved in almost every bodily function that you have in your body. And having balance and having correct hormonal function is essential to a healthy body. Thyroid hormones, reproductive hormones, stress hormones, all of these hormones must be looked at as potential trouble spots. Many people that we check have hormonal imbalance and and most people don't even know that they do so we're going to focus a lot today on thyroid because that's one of the prime primary hormonal imbalances that we see is patients have thyroid disruption your thyroids drive so many other actions in your body that's kind of where we start whenever it comes to hormonal imbalance we we start with the thyroid and, and sort of work our way out 
And we're going to get into all that right after this break about your thyroids and what happens and, 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 and how all of that connects with, with your health and, and with all of your bodily functions. So if you know somebody that has thyroid or hormone imbalance, call them or text them during the break and tell them to tune into the rest of the show because we're going to get into all the details about thyroid problems and, and blood testing and all that. And I'm going to also be inviting you to a free community workshop I'm hosting on thyroid and hormone imbalance and and how to lose weight effectively. It's going to be September 28th at the Hilton Garden Inn. I'm going to tell you more about that after the break. And and it, it, so stay tuned. But if you can't stay tuned, you can go to our Facebook page at at the Bryant Wellness Institutes, and and I'll have more information there on it. But uh, stay tuned. And if you know somebody that has hormonal or thyroid problems, text them and tell them to stay and tell them to tune in. This is Get Well Acadiana. I'm Dr. Kevin. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Get Well Acadiana with Dr. Kevin. Thank you so much for joining us today on the show. I've got such an important topic for you today. We're going to get into all of the details of thyroid and hormone imbalance and weight loss and weight gain on the show. And before we get started, though, on all of the details, I need to make a couple of points with you. Point number one is that many people are feeling bad. Maybe they have fatigue or weight gain or low energy or or some other health problem, or maybe they just don't feel their best, and they don't realize that it's coming from their thyroid. So we have one group of people that have thyroid problems, and it's and their thyroid's not working well, and they don't even know it yet. And point number two is that we may have another group of people that feel bad, but we're told by their doctor that their thyroid was normal, so they are looking at other things, but it actually turns out it was their thyroid all along. They have something called subclinical thyroid disorder, meaning their thyroid is bad enough that they feel bad, but it's not bad enough to fit into this box that diagnoses them as thyroid disorder. So they've been told that it wasn't their thyroid. And many times they go on this wild goose chase trying to find that it's something else, or maybe they just say, well, I'm just getting a little older. Maybe I'm supposed to feel bad. And all along it was their thyroid but it wasn't bad enough to put them into this box that the computer says you now have thyroid problems, which is, which is a really big box. And so they, they, they think that it's something else, but actually it was their thyroid all, all along. And so some symptoms of subclinical thyroid problems are low energy, especially if you wake up tired after you, after you've been sleeping or after adequate sleep. Um, mood changes with things like depression and anxiety. You can even have neck and arm pain or tingling down into the arms. We now know can actually be radiating from your thyroid. You can get weight changes like unexpected weight gain or, or inability to lose weight. And this is the, this is the patient who says, you know, I just gained 10 pounds every year. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, I, I just can't lose weight. I just keep gaining a little bit year after year. And thyroid disorders can even cause digestive issues like constipation or bloating. And we even find heart rate abnormalities and, and temperature regulation problems like being cold all the time or dry nails, or, uh, dry, dry skin or, 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 or even like dry nails or brittle nails. The thyroid can cause so many different health problems It has to be looked at very thoroughly and honestly, much more thoroughly than what it's being looked at by your typical medical workup. If you have any of these symptoms and you've been told your thyroid is not the cause, we now have some advanced testing that we can do that can show that 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 you may actually have thyroid problems. And it may show up problems that were missed the first time that you had it looked at. And the other thing to our male listeners out there, sometimes men mistakenly think, well, it's not my thyroid. That's a female problem. That's not true. Um, we're finding more and more men with thyroid problems than ever before in the 20 years that I've now been in, in personal practice. And a typical medical test to determine if your thyroid is responsible for your health problems, they test something called TSH. And I have two problems with this. 
Number one is the vast majority of thyroid problems are not from TSH being out of normal. Some studies can show it maybe up to 90% of thyroid problems are from something other than TSH. So just 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 testing TSH is not a very thorough representation of what your thyroid is doing. TSH is actually produced from the pituitary, not the thyroid. So <clears throat> that's not a very thorough evaluation or screening uh, of your whole thyroid function. And the second problem that I have with that is they give you this huge variation of normal. The, so they miss the vast majority of problems that are TSH. Most labs consider normal TSH levels, which TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. Normal TSH is from 0.3 all the way up to 5.6 is considered normal. Forget this. So what that means is <clears throat> if you check someone's TSH levels and you're 0.31, you're perfectly fine. No problems at all. You're th it's not your thyroid. But if you're 0.29, well, now that's thyroid disease and, and you have a problem. That will never make sense to me, and I don't think it really makes very much sense to you either. We have to be willing to look at the patient as a whole and do all the testing and look at the history and look at this exam and look at the blood work with some common sense. So what I'm saying is, if your TSH is 0.4, you're probably going to feel bad, even though it's not below 0.3 for you to be considered thyroid disorder. In functional medicine, we use what's called optimal ranges, meaning not enough for you to be alive and, and to be breathing, but to actually be healthy and feel good. Now, we look at normal TSH level for somebody to feel great and to be healthy and be energetic and ready to go every day is to be more like 1.8 to 3. So we have this saying, treat the patient, not the paper. So there's so much more into evaluating you than just looking at one factor and calling it a day. So if somebody comes in and they have no symptoms at all, of thyroid problems at all, and their TSH is, say, 1.7, it's probably nothing to worry about. Even though it's out of our optimal ranges, If it's probably okay. On the other hand, if somebody comes in and they're low energy and they're losing their hair and they're having trouble losing weight and their TSH is 0.6, there's a great chance that this is still a problem, even though it doesn't fall outside of this huge box that the insurance computer calls thyroid disorder. So treat the patient, not the paper. TSH is really a poor indicator anyway of if somebody has thyroid problems. Our thyroid panel, our blood work panel for thyroid in our functional medicine program is about 12 different markers. So I want you to think of your thyroid as an assembly line, like building a car. So with our panel, we have 12 different steps to build this car, to build this thyroid hormone. So we look at every step along the assembly line to see which person is not doing their job. So if we have an assembly line and we're building a car here and one person puts the headlight on, one person puts the door handle on, and one person puts the tail light on it, and every time a car comes out, the tail light is wrong, we're going to know whose fault it is. We're going to know who's who's the problem, who's to blame. This is how we approach the thyroid. This is exactly why we have amazing results when no one else does. This is why we have patients driving from all over the state to come do our thyroid program because we use this assembly line approach to find out where the body is breaking down. And I'm going to get into this assembly line a lot more a little bit later in the show. But using this assembly line approach allows us to figure out where to target, what stage of the assembly line is breaking down. And, and, and then we ask ourselves, why is that part of the process breaking down and how can we make that part work better? And so we'll get into this assembly line a, a, a little bit more later on. I'm going to take some time to break all of this down, but I, I don't want to do half of it and then take a break in between. Uh, we'll get to this after this next break. We're going to get into this right after this next commercial. So 
don't go away for this for this next segment. Come right back. But if you or somebody you know is having hormonal problems or thyroid problems or stress hormonal reproductive problems, I'm hosting a free community workshop to explain all of this in greater detail. It's called Five Steps to Healthy Hormones. The workshop is going to be on natural solutions to thyroid, the most effective way to lose weight and keep it off, how the thyroid affects the reproductive system, how stress and the adrenal system can affect your hormonal balance. Um, now, we only have 20 seats available. We do have limited seating, but it will be the best one hour that you've ever spent if you want to feel better and lose weight and and you know have energy and and, and feel great every day it's going to be thursday september the 28th at 6 30 p.m at the hilton garden inn if you want to register you can call 837-7174 and leave your name and number on the machine that's my office number obviously we're not there today it's saturday morning and when we get back monday we will just call you to reserve your seat and give you more information about it. It's 837-7174, or you can simply text CARE to 77453. So that's CARE, C-A-R-E, CARE to 77453, and that will register you. We will give you a call Monday when you text CARE to 77453. Your number pops right up on my computer, and that will reserve your seat. Now, if you're closer to New Iberia, their number there is 367-2567. Come back after the break. We're going to go through this assembly line. Don't go away. Welcome back to Get Well Acadiana with Dr. Kevin. We're discussing thyroid disorders and hormone imbalance today. And right before the break, we were discussing that we treat thyroid disorder Using this assembly line idea, think of the assembly line to build usable thyroid hormone in your body. And if you really want to fix your thyroid, you have to figure out where in the assembly line process the body is breaking down. If you're ever going to figure out wh what we need to do and what part of the body we need to address. So I want you guys to bear with me for these next few minutes. This gets a little bit in the weeds, so you guys just hang in there. I'm going to go through the assembly line steps of what your thyroid goes through. This is um, pretty technical, but, but just hang in there because at the end, you're going to see that um, it makes a lot of sense. And I'm not going to get super detailed on it on the air. I really need my charts and graphs at the, from, from the workshop. So the workshop that I'm hosting on September 28th at the Hilton – I'm going to actually show you on a chart this whole assembly line process, and you'll be able to figure out for yourself where your body is probably breaking down. But it's important that you understand this. So I'm going to run through this very briefly on this assembly line to make thyroid hormone. And the main thing I want you to understand is how complex this is and how many steps are involved for you to end up with healthy thyroid hormone and how pitiful it is just to check TSH, take three minutes to look at it and, and put you on something uh, for the rest of your life. And this goes with the rest of your hormones as well. Any hormonal treatment needs to be uh, this assembly line approach. It needs to be addressed this way in order to try to figure out where the body is breaking down. But for thyroid specifically, it all starts in the brain. There's a part of your brain called the hypothalamus which produces a hormone called TRH, which is thyroid-releasing hormone. TRH goes to your pituitary gland, which tells it to release TSH, which is thyroid-stimulating hormone. Then TSH goes to your thyroid cells inside your thyroid gland, where it takes an amino acid called tyrosine, and it uses an enzyme called thyroid pyroxidase, to join four iodines, which you get from your food, and that makes T4, which is an unusable form of thyroid hormone in your body. Synthroid is T4. T4 is then shuttled by another enzyme called TBG to your liver and stomach. TBG is like the bus. It picks up T4 and brings it to your stomach and liver. 
Now, in your stomach and liver, T4 is then converted into T3 by removing one of the iodines. T3 is the usable form of thyroid in your body. T3 runs your metabolism by converting your food into energy. Now, thanks for bearing with me through all of that. I had to learn all the details of that. You don't. But I just want you to understand how many steps in the assembly line are involved. Now, several things could go wrong in that assembly line. Your iodine receptors may be blocked by heavy metals or chemicals so that you don't make T4. You may have an iodine deficiency, so you actually don't have the raw materials to make T4 in the first place. A lot of studies show that iodine levels have declined 50% in the last 30 years. Number three, your immune system might be attacking and killing these TPO and TBG enzymes. This is Hashimoto's disease. That's an autoimmune disorder, which is not even a thyroid problem. It's an immune system problem. Your thyroid is the victim like a victim of a crime. If your thyroid is being beat up by your immune system, you have Hashimoto's disease. And it doesn't make sense to treat your thyroid. We treat the immune system and find out what's making your immune system so mad that it's decided to go pick on your thyroid gland. Number four, you can have your liver and stomach so unhealthy that it can't convert T4 to T3. In this case, you can have all the T4 and you can take all the Synthroid in the world, but if your liver and stomach is so unhealthy that it can't convert T4 to T3, you're still going to feel bad. So this is usually the patient who's taken their thyroid medicine and their numbers look good on paper, but they still feel bad. And that's like I said earlier, treat the patient, not the paper. So T4 still has to be converted to usable thyroid in order to be beneficial to your body. Guys, all of this needs to be looked at to figure out how to solve someone's thyroid problems once and for all. And at the workshop, I'm going to sit down and draw this whole assembly line process out and talk to you about each step along the way so that we can discover where in the assembly line the body's breaking down. Which part of the process is malfunctioning? It's not good enough to spend three minutes looking at your TSH and put you on Synthroid for life and calling it a day. That's just not good enough. We can now test each one of these steps in the assembly line process. We can test your TSH. We can test your TPO. We can test your TBG enzymes. We can test your free T4, your free T3, and several others. We can test the antibodies to see if your immune system is attacking your thyroid. We can test your liver and stomach to see if they're so unhealthy that you're not getting the conversion rate like you should be. All of this needs to be looked at. And you know what? People need relief. Two-thirds of Americans now have weight problems. Almost no one feels like they have the energy to get through the day. People need common sense solutions. And you know 30 million Americans of you out there now are suffering from thyroid disorders and half of you have thyroid problems and don't even realize it. You feel bad every day or you wake up tired or you're gaining weight or you're having some other health problem and you don't even know your thyroid's causing this. So we need to take a look at this. We need to get this thing figured out. If you can't lose weight or you don't have the energy that you should have, one of these steps in this assembly line process may be the problem. Even if you've been told your thyroids are fine. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't still have this subclinical thyroid disorder. It's very important that we dig deeper. We look at all of these little steps to make sure that your body is functioning at its maximum ability. And, you know, the funny thing about this is it becomes real obvious. When you look at each one of these steps along this assembly line, it jumps out at you of where the body is breaking down. And so if you're tired of feeling bad all the time, if you want to finally learn how to lose weight, or if you want to have more energy to do all of those little extra things that you used to do, I'm hosting a free community workshop to show you how to do just that. It's called Five Steps to Healthy Hormones. 
It's going to be at the Hilton Garden Inn on September the 28th at 6.30. You can call 837-7174 to register. Leave your name and number on the machine. And when we get back to the office Monday, we'll give you a call and give you more information and book your seat. This one's going to fill up fast. We do have limited seating. So we're going to go through natural solutions to thyroid. We'll talk about the most effective way to lose weight and keep it off for good. How the thyroid affects the reproductive hormones. How stress in the adrenal system can affect your hormonal balance. We'll go through all of that. So all you have to do is call 837-7174 or even easier than that. You can text CARE to 77453 and your number will pop right up on my computer. That's CARE, C-A-R-E, to 77453 and that will register you to come to the workshop. If you're closer to our New Iberia office, Dr. Fontenot is going to be doing the very same workshop in our New Iberia location. His number is 367 2567 but just remember, you, all you have to do is text CARE to 77453. We're going to close it up after this next break, so don't go away. Welcome back to Get Well Acadiana. I'm Dr. Kevin, and today we're discussing the importance of hormonal balance and how that there's so much more to the story than what you've been told and so many more natural solutions out there that can be done to solve these problems once and for all than you ever realized. We have so many things bombarding our hormonal balance today. It's no wonder so many people feel like they have hormonal problems because the truth is they do. People have hormonal problems out there so often and especially thyroid hormones. Our thyroids are literally being destroyed by things every single day that you're exposed to. Your thyroid requires iodine to make thyroid hormone. Iodine is in a class of elements called halogens. This family of elements called halogens shares, uh, iodine shares the same family with chlorides, fluorides, and bromides. But iodine is the weakest of these. What I mean by this is that you have iodine receptors. It's like a little doorway on your on your thyroid cells that iodine can get through there to be used to make T4. But these other family of halogens like chloride and fluoride are stronger, which mean they make stronger bonds than iodine does, meaning that they can push iodine out of the way and take over that receptor site. They can bully iodine out of the way. Now, when we dump chlorine and fluoride into our water, can you imagine how easy it would be for these chemicals to push iodine out of the way, taking over and preventing iodine from getting into your thyroid cell to be used? That's something we need to look at. If that's happening, we can flush those things out of the body. Also, heavy metals like lead, mercury, ca cadmium, and arsenic can block these very same receptor sites on your thyroid cells, preventing iodine from ever entering the cell in the first place to be used to make thyroid hormones. So T4, the 4 is 4 iodine molecules. That's what the 4 stands for. T3 is tyrosine and 3 iodine molecules. If iodine's being bullied out of the way by all the fluoride and chlorine that we put in our body, then that's something that's very easily fixable. Now, also, there's two chemicals called phthalates and BPA. These are two very common chemicals that have been proven to disrupt thyroid hormone. These both that it's irrefutable proof that these two chemicals dramatically affect and disrupt our thyroid gland. Phthalates and BPA are released from plastics. Just look at the use of plastic increase over the last 50 years. Milk used to come in a glass. Now it comes in plastic. Water used to come from the ground. Now it comes from plastic. Our food used to come from the garden. Now it comes from plastic. 
We also get phthalates and BPA from things like soaps and makeups and canned foods and um, just uh, cleaning supplies and air fresheners. We're literally bombarded by these two chemicals, and they have been proven to create thyroid disruption. And the good news is we can now test you for these things, and we have a very effective way at eliminating them from your body. And that by itself is a great way to improve your thyroid function. And then we look at the enzymes. You'll remember back when we talked about the assembly line to make thyroid hormone, we talked a lot about enzymes. You had the TPO enzyme and the TBG enzymes. Studies now prove that most people are very short of enzymes, meaning we don't have the enzymes that we need in our body to function, in our body to work. Enzymes are what your body uses to go through its chemical reactions. Enzymes make one thing turn into something else. And there are literally thousands of enzymes in your body working at any given moment. We have a supplement. Since most people are short of enzymes, we have a supplement that's the building blocks of enzymes. Now, there's no test that I can do. There's no way I can test your body to tell you specifically which of these thousands of enzymes your body's short of. But we have a supplement that's the building blocks that your body needs to build its own enzymes. So just like you need bricks and mortar to build a house, your body needs building blocks of enzymes for your body to make make higher levels and better enzymes. So it's kind of like we tell your body, here's the bricks and mortar. Just build whatever enzymes you need out of that. Here's the building blocks. Make better enzymes. And this is tremendously effective at replacing the body's enzyme activity. So much research is out there proving that enzyme shortage is something that's causing us not to be as healthy as we could. <clears throat> and then the other thing that we touched on that can destroy your thyroid gland is your own immune system. This is something that everyone should be very concerned about. It's not good enough if your immune system is attacking your thyroid just to replace that thyroid hormone and call it a day. Your immune system is killing part of your own body. So just to replace the part it's killing and call it good is not good enough. 50% of the time, if your immune system is attacking one part of your body, it will likely be attacking another part of your body and you don't even know about it. So if your immune system is attacking your thyroid, that's known as Hashimoto's disease, and this is not a thyroid problem. This is an immune system problem. Your thyroid is the victim, like in a crime. If someone comes and mugs you and takes your money, that's not your fault. That's the criminal's fault. In Hashimoto's disease, your immune system is being mugged. It's being beat up by your immune system. Your thyroid is the victim. So we have to look at the immune system to see why the immune system is so mad, why the immune system is so keyed up that it's decided to go kill its own body before. And we need to do that before it turns on other tissue and starts to attack other parts of your body as well. So it's not good enough just to say, well, your immune system is killing your thyroid gland, so let's replace your thyroid hormone. There's so much more going on under the surface than that. Your body's killing itself, and that's something that should concern you. So many patients I talk to with thyroid problems don't even know which one of these problems it is. They have no idea why all this is going on. All they've done is TSH is low, start taking Synthroid right away. That's just simply not good enough. We have to treat the patient and not the paper. To check your TSH, spend three minutes looking at this and put you on Synthroid for the, Synthroid for the rest of your life without checking any of these other things is simply not good enough. You deserve better. The way we tackle that problem is we have to find out where in the assembly line process your body is breaking down. And then we can figure out what part of your body we need to address, where we need to take care of the body 
in order to solve this. And I don't really believe that it's normal for your organs to just stop working and we should cut them out. Your organs were put there for a reason. We need them and we need to do everything we can to keep them working normally and to keep them inside your body so we can make them work right. So in functional medicine, in our type of a program, the goal is to find out where your cells are breaking down. We ask the question, why are your cells doing what they're doing and how can we make your cells work better? So each one of these 12 different markers we look at for thyroid becomes very important for our type of care. It becomes very important for us because each one of these markers is going to tell us what part of the body to work on. We want to know if there's an iodine shortage. Are the iodine receptors blocked by heavy metals or chlorine or fluorine? Has the patient been exposed to phthalates or BPA? Is the enzyme that makes T4 being attacked by the patient's own immune system? Is the enzyme that shuttles T4 to the liver or stomach being attacked by the immune system? Is the liver and stomach so unhealthy that it, can, it can't convert T4 to T3? Is the pituitary unhealthy or necrotic? Or is it a combination of all these? So as you can see, you can't figure this out in a short time. You can't figure this out in three minutes, and we don't do three-minute office visits at Bryant Wellness. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I want to invite all of you who are ready to feel better and who've been suffering with these type of health problems. I want to invite you to come spend an hour with me at this free community workshop and let me show you some of these amazing solutions to get your body working like it was designed. It's going to be September 28th at 6.30 p.m. at the Hilton Garden Inn. All you have to do is call my office at 837-7174. It will be, you will leave there with the best understanding of your hormonal balance and what's going on with your body than you've probably ever had. It's going to be on natural solutions to thyroid, the most effective way to lose weight and keep it off, how the thyroid affects the reproductive system, and how stress and the adrenal system can throw off your entire hormonal balance. So seating is limited. Call right away. It's 837-7174, 837-7174, or simply text the word CARE to 77453. That's CARE, C-A-R-E, to 77453. I look so forward to seeing all of you there. If you don't get into this one, if you call in its full if it fills up, I promise we'll have another one as soon as possible. But if you call the office and you leave your name and number on the machine, I will guarantee that you have a spot. It's 837-7174. If you're closer to New Iberia, the number there is 367-2567. Uh, you can, the number at the office, 837-7174 or text CARE to 77453 or you can join us on Facebook at the Bryant Wellness Institutes. I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. I hope the assembly line talk didn't get too technical for you. I had to learn all that mess. You don't need to know that, but just know that helps on the way and we can figure out where your body is breaking down. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you all at the workshop. Have a good weekend.